past Saudi Arabia for the first time in 20 years. And we passed Russia for the first time since 1999. Ron Ness with the North Dakota Petroleum Council says the state is on pace to set another all-time production record this month. North Dakota is producing oil at record rates, but flaring is also at a record high. Steve Kurtz went to see what Energy Group is doing to address the issue. Kinder Morgan held an open house in Watford City today for its proposed $30 million Bakken, Missouri River crossing. So the project is designed in a nutshell to capture natural gas that would be flared and get it to market. The 10 miles of proposed pipeline would connect the energy company's Williams County Compressor Station to the McKenzie County Gas Gathering Plant. But you've got to get that infrastructure in place. So when you're seeing these flares, you're seeing basically benefits to the state of North Dakota um, being burned away. North Dakota's gas production continues to climb at record highs, and Forrest says the proposed pipeline would capture 130 million cubic feet per day and help reduce flaring in the Bakken. It's bad for the environment uh, to, to not be able to capture that, um, and that's why the state of North Dakota has some targets in place. The proposed route for the pipeline would cross beneath the Missouri River in the Lake Sakakawea Reservoir, which is owned by the Army Corps of Engineers. Is the preferred method of crossing by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and, and other agencies because it's the least impactful. The proposed route would be at least 10 miles shorter than the other alternatives and have the least amount of impact on private and public land. But some landowners and citizens still attended the open house. We run cattle where they're going to string the pipe while they weld it. But Wold says in the end, she supports the project. There's a lot of flaring out there and I, I appreciate them trying to gather the gas. Steve Kirch, KX News. The 30-day comment period for the project ends October 11th and the comments will be submitted to the Army Corps of Engineers and Kinder Morgan would start construction sometime in 2019.